All right, hello and welcome. Today is Friday. Yay, Friday. Um, April 24th. Now, yesterday we had lots of issues with our with our stream. So, hopefully everything is squared away. I took apart everything and uh fixed stuff up. Uh I was able to stream for my APC students in, uh, later in the evening or afternoon I should say and uh, it seemed to work um, so it seemed to have uh, stabilized everything is working now and uh, hopefully we don't get those crashes like we did yesterday all right so uh, this is where we left off uh, where we were uh, looking at the current divider rule uh, the total current in the system we calculated at four amps and those four amps will split up uh, split up into two parts and uh, based on based on the resistances of each branch it, it will uh, and the fact that each branch had six ohms of resistance uh, this tells us that the splitting will be 50 50 an even split right? So we found that R12 was 6 ohms, R34 was 6 ohms, and so because these two branches are even, uh, it'll split up 50-50. That means 2 amps goes through branch number 1, and then the other 2 amps go through, uh, goes through the, the second branch. Okay. And we know that 3-4 are in series, and uh, 1 and 2 are in series. One so R one I one two is the same as I one is the same as I two because because uh, they're all they're in series and and just for this time uh, it is equal to two just this time it's equal to two amps okay again it's only because both branches have six ohms of resistance. So two, 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 two. So they're all twos, and I can find all the v's by dividing. So v one. So use Ohm's law. V equals I R. V one equals uh, I one R one. So two times two is four. Uh, v2 uh, 2 times 4 is 8 notice how they combine v1 and v2 combine to form the total voltage v which is 12 same thing with 3 and 4 uh, 3 is uh, 3 and 4 are the same resistances so they so they drop the same amount of voltage six and six they both also add up to 12. okay i'm going to skip the power you can do the power for fun if you want just for fun jff uh, but look at look at the values and look for patterns here okay uh, when you have the same resistors or the same amount of resistances in series like we do in three and four um, we drop equal amount of voltages okay not only that the total voltage is is equal to uh, the battery because when you look at it in the combined form you can see how resistor 3 4 is parallel to the battery and of course when you're parallel to the battery you can have the same voltage as the battery since the battery is 12 volts then each branch must be 12 volts and that's what the loop rule tells us. The loop rule, uh, when you go around the loop, everything has to equal zero. The batteries give you the voltage if you go through from the bottom side. Uh, and then you subtract voltages from each resistors. So you can see how V1 plus V2 should equal the battery. And then V3 plus V4 equals the battery. All right, so that was that. Uh, your task for today is... Uh, this to do the lab. Unit 10, 3. Can you go over 
Oh, you want to go over questions for Master? Sure, we can go over a couple of questions. Let's, let me see if I can find that. Yeah, but uh, while I'm doing this, we'll go ahead and go to your canvas and download the the lab. Download the lab. And it should look like this. Um, assignments. Oh, I just saw it too. Number ten. Oh. Uh, mushroom physics ten. Um, Find the equivalent resistance between A, B, consider blah, blah. Well, you have to identify uh, which ones are in series and which one is in parallel. Ah, here we are. Which one's in series, which one's in parallel. Um, so in number 10, you have. So wherever you see A and B, you can put the battery there. So imagine there being a battery here at A and B. Um, all right, so we have one, two, then we have a triplet packet. And then a third one. Yeah. So look for look for resistors that are in series. Look for resistors that are in parallel. Uh, similar to how we did the other problems uh, for the last one. Uh, of course, this this packet here, this triplet. Uh, these are parallel. Okay, so we'll go ahead and combine them. So you have A and B. So instead of drawing all three together, we'll draw one green one. Uh, this is our three, four, and five. So one green one, and this green one represents our three, four, five. So do it one at a time. Okay, now you should be able to see that 3, 4, 5, and this one over here at the end, these two, number 6, are 6, these two are now in series because the same current goes through both of them. And so you should combine them in series now. So the orange one, this orange resistor, is R345 plus R6. All right. All right, Chris, what do you see now? Once I combine the green one with the, the sixth the resistor, uh, what do you see? How are the rest related? I see that they are parallel, good. So once you finish that, you can you can see how all three of these are now parallel. Cool. Yeah. So the strategy, remember, the strategy is to do the do them one chunk at a time, one set at a time. Don't try to do all of them at the at the same time. So as you as you break it down, as you simplify it, one set at a time, you should see how. It gets easier and easier. All right, so that was number two. Are there any other ones here? Let's go back. We finished up to three, I think. Uh, nine. A nine volt battery is connected to A and B. Uh, yeah. So for nine, um, nine is a lot easier. <laughs> Uh, for 9, you have 2 in series, 
and then, and then they are parallel, right? So do the series first. So these two are in series. And once you combine them in series, then they become parallel with number three. Uh, and of course, for some of these questions, you can you can do them by by putting them on our simulator kit. So to do it, once you download your lab, you should um, click the link and go to the same FET simulation kit. All right, it's the same DC circuits kit. Uh, let me pull it up here. Uh, there it is. It's the same one we've we've seen before. Um, okay. This time we 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 need a, a battery. Uh, the battery should point the other way. You can click on the battery and swap it. Uh, like so uh, and we need three resistors okay uh, let's go to use the diagram mode so two resistors like so we use lots of wires so that so that's easier to connect them so we'll use two wires in the front and the back two wires in the front and the back Okay. and then connect them like so and, and I believe there's one in the front right yeah there's a resistor one in the front and then connect resistor one there we go. Now it's working. We're going to use conventional current, of course, not electron flow. Electron flow is backwards. Okay. Um, you have to make sure that the values of, of your resistors are different. So, so cl you click on each resistor and change the value. So here's the resistor number one. Click on it, change it. Um, just make sure that you know they're not like within one or something so I'm gonna use I don't know 10 15 and 30 so 10 uh, 15 and 30 so uh, I see that more and more people are waking up <laughs> everyone had a hard time waking up today well, Okay, so my uh, my my resistors are different from from each other, so they're different enough, not just by one ohm, but like five, ten ohms at least. And uh, I kept the battery at nine volts, so keep the battery and leave it alone. Okay, uh, then you would just write them down, and and the A, the circle with an A. What is circle with an A? We should we should know um, our circuit symbols for our instruments. Oops, wrong one. Oh no. Uh, there we go. Uh, circle with an A. So, chat, tell me what is circle with an A? Circle with an A. That's a circuit symbol. You should have. You should have a list of circuit symbols. Uh, there's another one that's circle with a V. We'll leave that. Circle with a V. So circle with an A. Hint: It is a measuring device. It is a measuring device. Oh. Hmm. Well, it is an ammeter. And circle with a V is a voltmeter. So circle with an A means ammeter. It measures current. Wow, there's a lot of delay. I think that's why. Just like a, 
five second delay. I don't know why there's such a huge delay today. Oh. Um, yeah, so circle with an A is an ammeter, circle with a V is a voltmeter. So we'll go ahead and put the ammeter um, in our circuit. Uh, I need to cut open. Remember, when we put the ammeter, we have to put the ammeter in series. So when I put the ammeter in here, you, you, the ammeter will now measure the current for the battery. So this is the total current for my for my system right now because it's measuring the battery. Dennis couldn't come to me. Oh, uh, that's, yeah, he's usually a regular. <laughs> And of course, you can put this ammeter other places to measure the other currents. So if I'm, uh, if I want to measure it for resistor one, put it in front of resistor one. But notice how all of the current goes through resistor one. So it must be the same total current that goes through resistor one. So we should be able to conclude that I total is equal to I1 but it is different for I2 and I3 because because um, it splits up now so since it splits up you know part of it will go through the first branch part of it will go through the second branch let's go ahead and open up right here I'm going to open it up right in front of resistor 2. Let's take the ammeter in there. And now this will measure. Whoa. This will measure current number 2. Alright. So uh, that's that. Um, go ahead and finish up your lab. Um, I made it due next Saturday. Not this Saturday. So not tomorrow. Uh, I just do next Saturday, uh, but get it done, you know, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, afterwards, uh, you know, continue to work on your mastering physics. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Yep, it is. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.